welcome to our August 21st Friday Focus. We are coming to you from Fayette County, and we are hosted today by Martha and Holly for a glimpse of some beautiful residential gardening, as well as an update on some of the things that are going on with the Fayette County Master Gardener. Welcome, Natalie, to Fayette County, and welcome to all of you Tennessee Master Gardeners that are out there watching us. This is Holly Cameron, and you are going to love her garden. She is a Master Gardener here. How long have you been a Master Gardener, Holly? Almost 10 years. Wow. Mm, we'll be getting that yes. pen soon, <laughs> won't we? You're going to love it, so just stay tuned. If you've been dreaming of making some home landscape changes, get ready to be inspired. This is beautiful. And I see on the porch, this is the national on the National Register of Historic Places. So tell me a little bit about your house. Well, it was built in 1850. It was originally called Crawford Experimental Farm because they did a lot of uh, seed experiments. It had set on about 300 acres and they had silk trees and cotton gin and it was the first farm in Fayette County to produce two bales of cotton per acre. Wow. So it has a lot of history. And then um, the former owner brought in several other historic structures to the property too. Holly, this it's just this property is beautiful. The landscaping, everything. I love it all. Do you have some favorites that you'd like to talk about and share with everybody? Well, right now I would say the hydrangeas are um, doing great because it's July and there's not much else blooming. Um, the paniculatas are my favorite. And this one is little lime, which gets to be quite large. And the Lovely. other one is a vanilla strawberry and then a little quick fire. And they're just so easy and, you know, you can prune them to keep them a little smaller or just let them get really big. I have several that have gotten to be quite large. Now, one more question. When you bought this property, was anything on here there there was uh there were boxwoods and that was pretty much it in this front part and i've done it actually a couple of times because we had had several large trees go down so then it changed all the landscaping oh my goodness holly this thing is huge how old is it like 30 years old or something? <laughs> Most all of this garden was planted in 2014, 2015. It's not very old. This I do keep pruned um, a little more than this usually, but it's so pretty with the blooms. This is a great alternative to a crepe myrtle. It's called Seven Suns, and these are not very old, and they have beautiful flowers like a crepe myrtle. They have the peeling bark, uh, they seed, so I have others coming up that I'm going to move around, and they are super easy. That is great to know because since everyone's been having trouble with this scale, so that that's This is also probably my favorite of everything, Holly. It, it looks like such a nice family area and you have different sections uh, of everything. So how did you decide to do this? And I know this wasn't an overnight thing. No, um, I think it was grass avoidance. Um, <laughs> and so we did the sections with the paths with rock because I have dogs and the rock works great with keeping mud off their feet. They're not Good too wild tonight. about it, but I love it. Um, and I did di do different sections to keep it a little more organized. Um, and this was, the, I have more herbs in this section, so I don't have to go back to the vegetable garden. But this is a caradoon, and it has the most beautiful purple flower, and the hummingbirds just love it. Oh. And it's just, it comes back year after year. These I planted from seed this year, 
So they grow fast and they'll get really big. And it's just a great plant, but I love the color. Uh, it's, it's great. It's very unusual, I think. So I love that. Uh, what are some other favorite plants you have out here? And this is my new favorite vine. It's a climbing begonia. They're not winter hardy, but it will be well worth bringing in for the winter because it adds such drama to the garden. So Holly, these ornamental grasses, we all love them in the landscape and they're very marginally hardy. What's been your experience? <laughs> They have not been winter hardy for me, and I have tried several things. I built little cages for it, put leaves over it. I tried everything. Now I just dig up a piece of it and pull it back out in the springtime when it warms up, and then I have several more from that little piece. <laughs> we kind of want to transition to the second segment of our visit, and let Martha tell us a little bit about what the summer has been like for the Fayette County Master Gardeners. I tell you, our group from Fayette County has really risen to the occasion. One thing that we are doing, we are by Zoom having our board members meetings and we are also having our Zoom meetings for our association. So we have about 50 um, people that are in our Master Gardener group and we've had about oh, 22 to 24 members join us in Zoom and you know we are all and I'm speaking for myself too not all so much uh, young in body but young in heart and so you know that's hard for some people so I'm really proud of that and we also have a few projects I just had to share with you because I'm so proud of them uh, there is a flower bed that's by our newspaper in town that was being taken care of by somebody else and he just got tired of doing it. Our master gardeners rose to the occasion and they're taking care of it. And this was of course in spring, but it's beautiful and it's coming into Somerville and has our little sign out there. So this is also uh, two different things. We helped a church plant sale and then some of our individuals and our family members are going on litter picks for their street or their road so that always helps our community let's see emergency management association that used to be the old jail which was renovated it's a beautiful building now but not so much it had a butterfly bush uh, by the building that they wanted to keep but that's all they had and I didn't get one when everything was in bloom, the day lilies at one time, but uh, I wanted to point this out in this picture. You probably can't see it, but they're jugs of water. We have master gardeners that are filling these things up across the street and watering the plants to keep them alive. So you can tell what heart they have. Then at the Carl Perkins Center for um, abused children their director came to me and wanted a place in the back of their building for the children the children could not ever leave the building because no one was to know their identity and so the back of the building she wanted a garden area for different purposes and look how beautiful what a great job and down the fence line in the spring there were so many buttercups i just love them so also, the um, Oakland Chamber of Commerce, this is a new project and it's a new master gardener that decided to be in charge and what a great job he did. She wanted to have flowers around her sign and the whole place just needed a little bit of maintenance and love and care and that's what our group did. Um, and you can see one of these, this is what I always love. You still see a smile, even though, you know, it's been like a hundred something degrees here. Uh, the latest, one of the latest things we did, we have a group here in Fayette County called Fayette Cares. And it is a group that not only helps um, people in abusive situations, also people that are down on their luck, they need food, they need possibly a job, there's actually uh, actual a residential area that they can stay in and they because of the pandemic they became uh, they needed more food so we did a food drive 
and I don't know if you can see, but she brought her van and we filled it up. And so not only are we good gardeners, we have a big heart and we can come to someone's help when needed. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, thank you so much, Natalie, for coming to Fayette County. Uh, we rock here. Jeff I is the director and he does a great job. We work together well. And again, Holly, you've been terrific. Thank you so much for uh, teaching us things and showing us around. And thanks again, Natalie. Have a great day. We hope you've enjoyed that beautiful and inspiring look at some classic West Tennessee landscapes, as well as a snapshot of some of the great work and community service that's taken place in Fayette County with our Master Gardener program. Thanks again, Martha, Holly, and all of the Fayette County Master Gardeners who made this garden tour possible. We look forward to seeing you all again soon at our next Friday Focus.